and what's up everyone welcome back to a new video of phobies so uh well today i wanted to try uh analyzing some of my older games i picked out the ones that i think are gonna help me and maybe some of you guys learn a few things about some of the strategies you should or should not use uh, in this game so i'm gonna start with this one here that i played the most recently uh, it was like a few i don't know like an hour ago uh, so this game, I, I don't really like this map, I'm not sure what it's called, but essentially our opponent Gabriel here starts off with a bat and I come out with a uh, Mo Bangles, Womang Bo Mangles, right, I got it, um, which is fine. Then I think he d does a little bit of a mistake here, he goes for this front uh, capture point here or betting point. Um, I think he should have gone for the one on the left side because now I can actually hit him from one uh, one attack. I start, I use this uh, bat to go here I and I hit the bat of my opponent, the murder wing for one uh, hit. So essentially if I hit it again, it's gonna die. Now you'll see here that what I did, I sacrificed my bat, okay? Um, so if you go here with your, uh, your eternal knight and your murder wing, you're able to hit it for twice. And this is what my opponent does. But I think I was considering like I was considering that option, and I and if that happens, you can just kill the bat again. As you'll see, this exactly happens. Uh, he kills my bat. I kill his bat with my clown. Now maybe there was some sort of opportunity for him to use like a spud or something and kill my bat without bringing the the the, the murder wing closer. I mean. I don't know I don't know so next thing he does he captures back two two power points uh, panic points Jesus and he he uses a fire dog or whatever his name is yeah right so next thing I do I, I use my freaking uh, baby sneaky go a little forward here Th this guy is I, 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 I use him a lot he's the three key that's sort of like a tank with high damage high speed he is really like really nice I use him super often um, I've already said that so next thing I use my jar cannon, the good old jar cannon that everyone hates. Um, you know him, so I'm able to hit it, this, uh, hit this uh, fire dog for one attack, or like, yeah, uh, attack him once. Then whatever, he sort of retreats here, which is fine. I think I, w I came out really strong, and he was still able to hit me a few times. Um, so essentially, what I do, I use this opportunity to cap to get into the center of the map. All right, I kill him once, and I think. This baby sneaky. If I used, uh, I use him to capture the capture, capture point here, the panic point. Um, he's sort of exposed a little bit, and I don't like that, so I just retreat. I let uh, and look. This is gonna be a, a turn where a lot of things happen. He's gonna come in and like do a lot of damage on my team. We're talking. First thing he uses is ult, and by the way, this has electrical damage, so he does more damage on my bow mangles. Mo bango. I swear to God, I'm not. Bow mangles, yeah. It just sounds weird for me. I don't know. Um, so he kills it. He kills the bow mangles, and then he uses a spud, the potato, to uh, attack my bat and I, uh, uh, my 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 cat. And I was actually, I think he was he were he was gonna be able to kill my uh, my bat earlier if he used it instead of the murder wing. So that was a big mistake that he did, and I didn't realize he could make it until like I started talking about this game here. Uh, so what I do in re response to that, I kill the fire dog, which is very like. By the way, I sort of want to come back to that. Baby Sneaky has 560 attack and he has 559 health, so that's very nice for me. That's very lucky. Uh, if I can tell you that if it was like um, there was a bigger difference in in HP, that that game probably probably would have gone a whole lot different. Because now I was actually able to kill the fire dog. Um, and sure, he kills my baby sneaky here, and actually this looks really, really bad. But I actually banked for six keys, so I think I bring out like an erratic or something. Yeah, yeah, bring out the erratic, keep the the jar cannon at the same place, and then he's gonna, I don't know, he's gonna capture this capture point. Pressure my jar cannon, so I need to retreat. This this game is well, this turn was a turn where I retreated a lot, and then I come back. I I need to to start like. If I just stayed there, and, and obviously my, my team is much weaker in attack than my opponent, so I need to, like, if I'm gonna win, 
at this point I'm really in a big disadvantage I need to go back so I pressure a lot I I know that I'm gonna take a lot of damage here but it's fine because look this snake here he should have done something else he, instead of going on this safe spot he should have gone on the lava spot on the left part or right ne right next to it at the left because he would have well he, he he's gonna be able to hit my well maybe not but the reason why I say that is because my this uh, Gezundike here it hits the snake and kills it so that's very nice for me maybe he, ju he should have just retreated it um, because at that point I was also able to kill the spot and my erratic is looking nice man it's looking nice it's looking like we we got the control of that game and it's gonna be an easy win right this is where you're kind of wrong because look he heals all of his team and we're really weak on HP right so not much is gonna kill us of course the jar cannon is really hard for us it makes us it makes it hard for us to retreat because he's gonna be able to outrange us uh, so what I do here I attack the microscopic for a little bit and I do something weird okay so he brings it up a little bit closer oh yeah yeah okay hold on, hold on. I, wa I want to come back a turn so I could have moved this um, this erratic but I didn't because I knew that if I did or I should say if I didn't move it he was gonna have to move his microscopic up which means that my, my Gesundheit can get it for I mean he can attack it twice and kill it the only thing I didn't consider and you'll see here he brings he kills my my erratic he brings his freaking clinico in my face so I it means I can't hit it I can't kill the microscopic which is gonna make it really hard we don't really care about the clinical here it's done its job and the fact that it heals units under 1000 HP is like we who cares you know so I hit it for twice I still kill it I don't get the microscopic though unfortunately um, and this is where I realized that I still had one key left and this is gonna be, hu be a huge factor in this game uh, so we pull out a good old cowbell. I only have two one key units. I have the cowbell and I have the cat So that's it um, We go back into the turn. He kills my guy here Now keep in mind. He's at 239 HP, which means that he's a one-shot for my um, My jar cannon So we keep going Then I don't know I sort of just my move my units around doesn't really matter but it actually does matter a lot okay so if he decides to like push or stay there i'm gonna be able to move my um my jar cannon closer and i'm gonna be able to move my cowbell closer so if, so if he doesn't move either of those i'm gonna be able to kill the microscopic in one turn and then bring out my my, my cowbell and the next then the turn after that i can kill the uh, jar cannon i think so that's why he went he backed up but he made a big mistake in backing up his two units. He only had to back off the uh, the microscopic, right? Because obviously if, if he doesn't, I kill it with the jar cannon. If he doesn't move the jar cannon, and you see here, I'm able to like just take control of the whole map and he cannot hit me with the jar cannon. Keep in mind, if it was one square closer, he, wa he was gonna be able to hit either my jar cannon for two attacks or my cowbell and they both would have died or I mean one of them would have died and the next turn after that I just lose right so this allows me to get control of the map again I mean we're not really close to having a broken heart here doesn't really matter because he he has no, nowhere to go with his uh, his microscopic I can just chase it a little bit with my jar cannon and next turn you'll see we put our enemy in a trap where we bring the cabal closer, hit the jar cannon once, and whatever he does, he dies the next turn. So we win the game this way. Uh, he runs a little bit with the jar cannon. We chase it around, hit it one time, and that's a win. So that game was really, really satisfying. And there were really key moments where I think my opponent did some mistakes, uh, some positional mistakes, more or less, that, that really got the, 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 the loss here. No one really blundered any units, and we're, we're talking about sacrifices here, like... It was, it was really, really close, I think, the whole time. And only a few moves away from being a win or a loss for, for anyone. So that's, that's one that was really interesting for me. I want to get into another one.
Okay, so I don't want to show you if this is a win or a loss. You'll see. Um, but I, I want to just go buy this, buy this one really quickly because it was more or less an experiment for me. I started the game with a Saki cat and bow mangles, and uh, he brings out the, the bow mangles too. But I decide to. Um, I attack the bow angles a whole lot. Like I bring all my units forward here. I just say, I just, I just think at that point that I, my attack is stronger. I guess we just test it out. To keep in mind, this Saki has a lot of HP, so it's, it's very hard for my opponent to take it. We got a strong uh, baby sneaky coming in with the range attack from the bow angles. It's a really nice combo, and I think this this start is really really strong. Okay, so he tries to beat my my Saki here. It just takes so much attack from him that he can't really kill any of my high damage units. You know, the bow mangles and the BB Sneaky. And I don't even think he kills the cat. Yeah, he doesn't even do that. So, it's fine. We're chilling. Turns out okay. I pull out a Dark Cannon here. And I think we're gonna kill a cat here. And are we gonna get this one? Yes, we are. Okay. So, he is low enough on HP so that we can even like use the, the cat to grab a capture point. And use the baby sneaky to grab another capture point. We got three capture points, and we kill, um, we kill the bow mangles. And he's not even close to being able to kill our baby sneaky here. So a really, really strong start. What does he do? Uh, he's gonna shift a bit, a bit of his energy on this tile here. So he kills the cat, which I assume he was like on a very low HP here, right? Because he he killed it. Yeah, he killed it with the dark cannon. Use it to capture the capture point, but I just say, dude, you bring out a, a, a low HP dimensional unit. It's a perfect matchup for my BB Sneaky. He can just capture the capture point back. I'm not sure if, if he's gonna die next turn. Yes, he is, because he's uh, my opponent is gonna bring out uh, Ginston and use the bees on me. So I die, sure. He also, I think, a, a little bit of a mistake here. My opponent got real greedy. Uh, oh no, he didn't get greedy. He just traded his um, his bat for the jar cannon because you'll see I just killed the bat here and killed the murder wing. He, j you know, he he's gonna take a bit uh, a little bit of space back. But you'll see that the the turn before that I was able to bank to six keys. So this means that theoretically I'm, I have still the energy to come in with some some really strong units and get back the whole control of the map and regardless I got two capture points the heart of my opponent is looking real weak man real weak so it, it's like it looks like a really really strong start right well this is where I decided you know what let's spice it up get the bikes outside so I just move back a little bit you know just gotta make sure that uh, my units are really spaced out so that the, he doesn't uh, Ginsen doesn't use his uh, weird ultimate ability on me and I bank to freaking nine keys okay I'm like all right I, I because it, it was like I got this uh, this new unit recently you'll see and I wanted to try it out okay so what I probably should have done here to win just pull out like an erratic or something I can't show it but probably just pull out an erratic and the turn after that he's gonna be able to do some really good a AOE damage here but, you know, he, uh, my opponent comes out with a, s a really, really strong central uh, team here. He's got the squad going. It is really, uh, it, it is swag. But this is what I decide to do, okay? And it turns out high five is not probably not a very... Uh, I don't think it's so top tier. But I honestly, I've had very little experience for me. Uh, uh, very little experience with him. I think you need to be like in a really really good spot in game to be able to pull out a high five maybe he is better on like larger maps um, but he this is what it took me it took it took me to lose like the entire control of the map to pull him out he's a f eight key and what he does is essentially like do a whole lot of bunker damage um, because my goal was I'm gonna lose a bit of control on the center part but I'm gonna sneak my high five all around the map and get to the heart so is that gonna work is that gonna work this is uh, the part where you're probably wondering um, and you'll see here the problem I think the main problem is that uh, my opponent had a woolly bully which allows him to essentially like um, weaken my 
my big unit. And having a, a, a small unit weaken a big unit, I mean, smaller unit, he's a 5 key still, but uh, it, it's really bad because look, I have 150 HP, uh, 150 damage. And that does, doesn't allow me to, to go in and, um, you know, use some of the the uh, the undead ability, right? Heal or suck 40% of the damage back into my HP. That's not going to happen this turn. So I just run away. I, I still saw the woolly body here and I'm, I was like, you know what? I can I think I can just run away from him and get to the heart and do enough damage. But this is where it like sort of messed up my cal calculations. Just pull out the co cobble here. But you might be able to just see this and just think, yeah, there's no way you win, right? And you're right. So he comes in, gets my my whole team, or I mean my cobble. Um, I'm still weak here this turn, so I think this woolly bully ability here is really really strong because my guy cannot do anything. So I just I don't know. I just attack once, heal a bit of HP back because I can't do anything else. Um, and you'll see next turn he kills the bat. I go to the heart. I do a bit of damage, but it's not enough. He just kills me, and I lose. Sure. So what 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 did I learn from this? Don't ruin a game. Uh, I mean, don't bank the, your keys until you have like literally um, no control over the middle of the map, just to get someone that's gonna rush the heart. That's I don't think that that's ever gonna work. Um, so yeah. Alright, I'm seeing this video is really starting to be very long, but I'm gonna talk about some other games in like another video, so I'm gonna split this one in two. So anyway, I'm just gonna say thanks for watching, guys. These two games were a little weird, but I hope you learned a few things about the game. I think I definitely did just by reviewing them and just taking a look at them. I, I, was, I was able to spot some of my mistakes and some of my opponent's mistakes. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.